here we have a Mercedes-Benz key fob that came in for repair. Customer wrote, lock, unlock, not working. Year 2000, E430, Mercedes, Sport. And customer is paying for expedited service, $49 more, so we can do this for him as soon as possible. So the fob was mailed over here because it does not lock or unlock. Let's go ahead and test this fob using our fob tester. And the fob is totally dead. It's reading zero. This is not a lock unlock issue. The fob is not even functioning, not transmitting any signal and infrared is not working. I wish customers would be a little bit more accurate with their description because now we went from something where lock unlock is not working to something that is totally not functioning. And also one thing to note when you press any one of the buttons, we should have an LED that blinks. Right now we do not have a blinking LED, not on this button, not on this one, and not on this one. Unless the batteries are dead, let's measure both batteries at once. And the meter is showing 5.64. The reading is a bit low, but we're gonna have to change the batteries for the customer anyway. I mean, it looks like the motherboard was taken out before because I do not see that plastic piece that goes on the top when the board is inside the casing. Let's go under the microscope. Oh, look at this. In just a split second, we're able to see that work was done on this board. We do not know if this component should be connecting with this component or this button. Maybe previously lock and unlock were not working, but after this was done, the whole fob stopped working. That's probably what happened. The customer did not mention anything about work being done on this board. They probably just wanna see me get surprised when I work on a device. And if you look here, you can tell the person who worked on it, they tried to remove the motherboard with the plier and they tried the first time it slipped, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and then they got the plier in deep up to here, and they pulled that board out. We do not know if this trace is broken. It looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. Oh, look at this, we have more damage. What else are we gonna find? On the back, not much going on except for this chip. More plier marks on the back here. Not a big deal. As long as we do not have any broken traces. Right now we're gonna have to get a donor fob to work on this one. And we should have a lot of them in stock. I got one right here, and I got one right here. I got two donor fobs. Let's see if they are an exact match. They should be. Yes. Look at this. Let's take a look at the customer's fob, and we'll take a look at the donor fob. It looks like there's something missing here. Let's take a look at the donor fob. Yes, we have a capacitor. Let's start by applying flux. Today we got an overwhelming number of orders for flux. I mentioned the coupon yesterday for the first 100 orders that you will get one syringe of flux for free if you order three or more. A lot of orders for both Amtec 559 and Amtec 213. I do not know what type of solder was used we're gonna have to use a bigger tip and we're gonna have to use our solder wick whoa the wick did the job that's it we're done with this area we are done look at this I do not know why the person who worked on this applied a solder blob here. Maybe it was done by mistake. 
or maybe there was a reason. Oh, it looks like he applied the solder blob here. So maybe he tried to secure that button thinking that the soldering on the button is what's causing the button not to work. So he applied a nice little mount in here and one here, shorten out all three components. That mountain is a piece of art. Maybe we should keep it. We can engrave it and it's a nice pyramid. Or maybe we can just do this. Make it nice and round. And this one I'm not gonna touch, it's already good. Or if you wanna make it better than factory, then why not just touch up on it? just to make it look better than factory. And now we can do the same thing here. So let's grab that component and we're going to place that component right over here. That's it. What do you think? Is that going to solve our problem? I think we should be good. I do not see any broken traces. I'm inspecting right here. And everything is looking good. Maybe we can touch up on this button. I do not know if we have enough solder here. Very nice. And let's check solder on this button and solder is looking good here. So I think we should be good. Let's go ahead and clean up. Put fresh batteries and test. Yes, yes. You see the LED blink? and the lock button you see the led blink let's test using our fob tester when we press any one of the buttons the fob tester should output 314 315 and we're going to test infrared and we should get a reading of ir to indicate that the fob is functioning so press the unlock button and look at this 315 press the lock button 314.6 press the trunk button 314.9. Now we're going to test infrared, lock, IR, unlock, IR, very good, and the trunk button, IR. <laughs> the fob is fixed and fully functional. Short video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.